What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a good Christmas and New Year's and you're getting back to the real world here shortly. Um, a question I see a lot in the forums is how do I get different fonts into Lightburn? So you can see here I've got a little variety of fonts. This can come in handy if you say you find something online, you sort of want to copy it, you're not sure how to get a font into Lightburn. And Lightburn actually doesn't come preloaded with fonts. It just uses whatever fonts you have already installed on your computer. So if you have Microsoft Word and you've got a couple fonts in there, it will just take those fonts from Microsoft Word and import them into Lightburn automatically. So I'm gonna hop on the computer here. I'll show you how to download and install new fonts so you can play around. Um, as you can see, I've kind of got the hockey letters here. This one is for a dog, for a stocking tag. So definitely comes in handy to be able to uh, import a, a variety of different fonts and stuff like that. So we'll hop on the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so in Lightburn, uh, I'm gonna show you a font I just downloaded here. This one is called Fabulous Spring. This is a popular one I see on like baby name tags or uh, other kind of fancier stuff that people are selling on Marketplace. So this one is on the website defont.com. You can see it here, Fabulous Spring. So this website, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit 2004, kind of looks a little bit sketchy. Um, but if you go to the Microsoft website, they actually recommend this website for getting new fonts. So we'll give it a try here. I haven't got any viruses or anything like that from it, but use it at your own risk. So we're gonna try this chilly Christmas font here. So all you need to do is click the download button. It will go up to your browser. Should only take you a second to download and then you can go to open file and it will open in WinRAR. You'll need to extract the files. Now I have mine set to auto extract. So what I like to do is just minimize this and drag it right over here to the desktop so I know where it is. Then you're just gonna right click on it and you can either click install or install all users depending on how many users you have on your computer. I'm just gonna click install. It should only take about a half second. And then if you go back into Lightburn, I'm just going to make some new text here. Okay, and now you can scroll down and you should be able to find your new font already imported into Lightburn. Where is it? There it is. So for some reason, I didn't get the fancy little Christmas emblems and uh, all the other decorations and whatnot, but it's just that simple. So uh, I'll do another one here. We can try... Um, what should we do? Maybe another cursive one. I kind of like cursives and I don't have a lot on this computer. So we'll go to the top and we can just hit top fonts. These are obviously the most popular fonts on the website. And there's lots of good ones, lots of ones you might be familiar with. Maybe we'll try this one here. Calovea? Oh, forgive me if I'm butchering that, but uh, yeah, just click download, open the file. WinRAR should open. And then I always use this one, the true type font file. Um, I think you can use the other one as well, but that's the one I always click on. I, I see most of them are in this same file format. So once again, drag it over to desktop and right click, click install, and you should be good to go. So go back to Lightburn. And then you can also click this and go down to edit, edit your text down here in the bottom drop down menu. And there it is. So you have that whole website. Uh, there are other websites, but like I said, that's the one Windows does recommend if you are looking for new fonts. So feel free to uh, browse that website, find whatever one you want. This is super handy if you have a customer or someone is looking for something very specific. As long as they can tell you the font or they have it on their computer, you can get it on a flash drive. You should be able to get it into Lightburn and uh, away you go. And there is the finished cut. So I'm gonna be using these letters for another project. Once I have two hands, I'll get that out of there. But uh, yeah, not really a file, but I will put a couple of my favorite fonts in the description below for you to download and experiment with. Uh, I'll also put a link to the website I get these fonts from, as well as the usual links to these little four by four pieces of wood, the six by sixes and the 12 by 12s. It's a good way to uh, do some experimenting without you, you know, using up a ton of wood or having to deal with big, large plywood sheets. So uh, all the links will be below as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.